Hello everyone, welcome back. I have uh, eaten, I have rested, and we are ready to go. I realized last time I did uh, get a new piece of gear, I believe. I didn't check out Shining Horned Headband. Uh, okay. What does it say? It actually has better uh, resistances in some cases. Uh, huh. Interesting. It's a lot of uh, a lot of very good resistances on that thing. But to be fair, some of these have insane resistances as well. Like what the hell? What is this? Okay, anyways, uh, headband decoration by a pair decorated by a pair of shining horns worn by ancestral follower shamans. Horns with buds that also shine are ideal ceremonial items for ancestral worship, strengthens ancestral infants head. Oh wait, is that like an incantation thing? Check that out first. Let's just. No, it's wrong. I keep forgetting. Focus is madness. Sleep and madness. Vitality is death. That doesn't really come up much as of right now, at least. Infant head. No, that's not it. Strengthens. Infant head. What the hell is the infant's head? I mean, I know I picked it up. I just have no idea what it is. What could it possibly be? A hero? A di- Uses FP to spray spirit vapor. Skull of a very young ancestral spirit. Just think how many sprout things it might bear. Use FP to spray spirit vapor, inflicting magic damage. Vapor becomes a temporary gazer, which deals continuous damage to everything it touches. It? Hello wolves. Will you be my I bet we need way more. Damage? No. What do we need? Um, probably need way more. Uh, what would scale that? Intelligence? Maybe? intelligence I realize we're so low on this all right well no wasting time Evasive maneuvers. Alright, let's go. Okay, regal and 
Ancestral Spirit. I don't remember what the previous one was called. soundtrack. Okay, well drinking that flask didn't do me any good. HP there. Doubt that uh, my uh, weapon's ability is going to be of any use here. this sure why not <laughs> Saying we have a weird timer that okay, that was uh, odd timing. I did click. Uh Click my dodge. I think we just drink the bottle. It was just an unfortunate death, I think. It's a bit unfair, to be honest. Because that dodge timing is a bit suspect. I don't have to rush though, I'm uh... It's a very slow attacking boss, so HP region is uh, of good use here.
try to stay close. What the? Get close. Don't charge me, bro. Well, that happened. What the? She killed one of its friends? I need to heal here, to be honest. But... <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just gonna have to face tank this. Okay, let's go before it heals again. Okay, where is it gonna land? Probably gonna have to deal with another charge here. Oh. Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Okay. Like with the last one, amazing soundtrack. Just amazing. Uh, I noticed it kept changing its attacks. I saw like... I guess it has phases. Huh. It kept killing the... Uh, I'm guessing... Or absorbing this... No, I think it was killing them because I was getting rewards. I wonder if the uh, the spirit it absorbs had anything to do with which attack pattern it had or not. And I guess maybe the amount of spirits left dictates how many times you could heal. Either way. Either way I like that boss. It's not like super challenging or anything, but it's very artistic and atmospheric, I guess. And I suppose that's what they wanted to go for. Probably didn't want to make a super difficult boss, but more like a, like a mellow atmospheric boss. Is the teleporter here? Why did I come back here? I think I made the same mistake last time. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's uh, read the remembrance before we head back. <clears throat> and also realize we had some shaman stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, the ancestor followers live a distant, live a distance from the earth tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very, very flesh, and indeed their souls. Right. Um, remembrance. Take the power of its namesake, okay. Members of the regal ancestor spirit hewn into the earth tree. The power of its namesake, okay. 
ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the earth tree. Life sprouts from death as it does from birth. Such is the way of the living. Okay. Well, we'll uh, check that out when we get to it. That leaves us really with only one place to go at so right now. Here? Although I believe there is some more stuff up here, right? Like I remember when we first got to this place, uh the or First place. No, wait, that is somewhere else. No, no, that, that was here. That was here. I felt like. Like down here, maybe? Should there? Just give me a moment to deal with all this. The thing is, I know there is another floor up here. Be that the horse is the way down? Let's see, can I, let's see if I can find maybe elevated landing spot. Oh my Look, I didn't want to. You were in the way. Oh <laughs> poor corpse. Oh my god, it's raining dead animals. That was not my intention. I think this is the lowest point that we can get to. And I think if we jump here, we should be fine, right? Or maybe jumping was pointless. Right, because I remember hearing a lot of sounds and stuff when I was here in the lower level. Uh, but there was no way of getting up. I still suspect that there was an upper floor somewhere. So maybe this is it. Hold stealth. Very useful. To be fair, it's a lot over here, though. But let's start over here. Um, maybe there is a passage underneath us. Why is it always beautiful? Yeah, it looks very nice. Not my type of color combination. Uh, never really been into this, like, Greek mythology color combination. But it still looks nice. It's not my favorite, but not my favorite motif. But still does look nice. Ooh, alright. Uh hmm. Fine. 
I know where we are. I just don't know if this is the right place to be. That was on, not it. Uh, mimic tear. Alright. Maybe it's below here. There's clearly stuff happening underneath here. I just need to find a way to get down there. Hi, horse. Thank you. Let's get through this a bit. What is that? Sorry, I'm just I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to visualize. I'm just trying to visualize. I'm confident there is a, a floor around here. But it's over here, I heard it. Not here. I'm pretty sure it was around this area right here. Should be a bit too high up. Huh? Yeah, this is probably too high. Yeah. All right. Well, we will have to uh, explore that later. I think I'm definitely way too high up. Um. All right. Well, next problem. Stupid night. I'm gonna like, cheese him off or something. I'm not above throwing a dagger in his face hoping he falls off. I'm, not, I'm just telling you right now. We're hoping for a fair fight. I 
If I go over here, will you fall off? No. Well, we'll uh, find a way to cheese it or skip it for the time being. Type of night. Ugh, I have to fight it fairly, no? All right, let's just get to it. Every time. That hits. Lord, man. God, I hate this piece of shit enemy so much. It is just so unfun. And my brain just shuts off when I'm fighting boring enemies. Like, it goes to sleep and it's like, well, wake me up when something fun happens. Time you're fighting this piece of shit. Uh, all right, let's just. Uh, I didn't even see which attack that was. I thought it was just a regular uh, side sweep. The worst part is there's uh, 45,000 or so souls. No way to get this guy to fall off. I guess I'm the only one who doesn't get magnetism here. I'm 
just gonna have to. Let's brute force my way through this. Oh, he didn't fall off. What up? <laughs> Couldn't have done that earlier. You piece of turd. Crucible horn shields. I was actually thinking about doing that, but, big but, I have seen it fly towards the ledge multiple times before, and then just stop right at the ledge. And in my brain I was like, this ledge looks different because it looks like it's different than this, obviously. And I thought maybe it works differently, like physically, but I'm too lazy to even try because I well, didn't actually think it would be a thing. Turns out it was. My god, man. My god. What a turd. What an actual steaming pile of turd. <laughs> 